Okay, I'm gonna do a Q&A based on the questions that you guys asked me um, in part of the giveaway. So if you didn't enter the giveaway, part of it was you can get an entry for asking me any question. So I'm gonna take those questions and answer them for a Q&A video. So the first question is, have you ever considered going into politics? Are your parents or family involved in the political world at all? So the reason this question came up is because I get pretty political on my Instagram. Um, but I try to keep that away from YouTube and away from a lot of aspects of my life. But Instagram is a platform where I found that my voice can be heard really well and where people respond to it in ways where we can actually have an awesome discussion. So I considered going into politics when I first entered college and I wanted to do law school originally. But the more I looked into law, the more I realized how detrimental it would be to my mental health. I was part of the debate team at my school for the first three years and I just felt that arguing constantly and trying to defend my beliefs while also being forced to argue for things I didn't believe in uh, was really not good for me. I don't want an entire career that revolves around arguing constantly and trying to prove a point because I think I'm so much more than that. I don't think my politics really defines me. I don't think politics should define anyone and I think if I pursued a career in politics that it would become everything 24-7 and I don't want that. So no, I don't have any interest in pursuing a career in politics. My mom actually despises politics. She does not like when we talk about it. But my dad and I are constantly like bouncing off, bouncing ideas off each other. We don't agree on uh, some things, but generally we agree on the basic fundamentals of our beliefs. Who is your favorite makeup artist? Um, I don't really follow along with a lot of makeup artists, like on YouTube or anything. Yeah, I don't really have one. What is your favorite flower? Um, I think the most beautiful flower is the plumeria. Plumeria, I don't really know how to say it. Here's a picture. So I lived in Nicaragua for three years in the end of middle school and the beginning of high school. And the plumeria, or however you say it, plumeria, um, is their national flower and I think it is so pretty. I have a bunch of jewelry that has like the flower on it um, And so I don't know if I have a favorite flower, but like I definitely think that's like the prettiest one So the next question is what made you decide to create a YouTube channel? This is kind of weird, but I have always had a really bad memory like horrible People will tell me something and I completely forget and then it seems like I'm not paying attention but in reality I just have a horrible memory and I have an autoimmune disease, I have epilepsy and I have been diagnosed with like clinical depression. So that means I take a lot of medications and some of the side effects of these medications are memory loss. So I think that my memory sucks because of some of the medicine I'm taking. So knowing that, I wanted to start creating YouTube videos so that I don't ever forget anything and if I do forget about like a trip I went on like I obviously won't forget that I went on that trip but like maybe small details that happened I'll forget so in order to make sure I have all the memories possible I decided to start videotaping everything and then putting it on YouTube I still literally am like the smallest YouTube channel that has like ever existed like only like 39 uh, subscribers but this is more for me not for other people like I want to have more followers or more subscribers, but like these videos are, the main point of these videos are so that I don't forget anything. So favorite YouTuber. I love watching like birth vlogs <laughs> and gender reveals. Two of my favorite like family channels are Rochelle and Justin and then Aspen and Parker. What have I done in quarantine to keep busy? So I've made YouTube videos. I literally have so many YouTube videos that are just like scheduled to release every Friday. So yeah, I've been making lots of YouTube videos. I don't know when this video is gonna come out, but today is July 5th and I have YouTube videos scheduled for every Friday until the beginning of September. I also have a full-time job. So I work 40 hours a week, Monday through Friday. Um, as you've seen, I have in some internship videos that I put out. So yeah, I have a paid internship and so that keeps me very busy. I also took two summer classes that just ended, thankfully. 
I took administrative communication and I took chemistry and cooking. What do you see when you close your eyes? Um, well, this ring light is so bright that literally that's all I see is like colors. It's like if you looked at the sun too long. Um, I don't know what this question means. I, I see darkness. <laughs> okay, moving on. Dream vacation. I'd have to say like Fiji or something. Um, like an island, like a tropical island in the middle of nowhere with like a bunch of like resorts. And when I travel, I like want there to be a beach close by. Like I feel like my best, like my ideal vacation would be like sitting on the beach and like eating a bunch of good food and not necessarily like going on a hike or walking 10 miles to this amazing like view. Like my type of vacation is like, let me lounge at the pool. I just want to chill. What do I hope what do you hope to accomplish before the year is over? I hope to graduate. I'm supposed to graduate in December. Another thing I want to accomplish is getting a full-time job. So the internship I am doing right now, uh, the company offers a lot of their interns full-time positions that start after they graduate. Um, and so I think I have a pretty good shot just because I graduate so soon and because I'm an HR intern and there's not a lot of HR interns compared to other internship departments that they have. That's probably the biggest thing is I hope to have a full-time offer. Do you own an electric car? I do not own an electric car. Cats or dogs? Unpopular opinions. I think cats are way better pets. <laughs> dogs? I just have like severe allergies to dogs so like they're not really fun to be around because I can't like pet a dog without having to like scrub my hands immediately after. Um, I like cats better. I think they're more cuddly and they can like lay in your bed with you without like you needing to like kick them off because they're too big. Favorite ice cream? Definitely strawberry. And that's an unpopular opinion again, but I have always loved strawberry. And I don't like the strawberry with the chunks of like actual strawberries in them. I think it's kind of gross because the strawberries are all like melty and like a weird texture. I just like the flavor of it, not necessarily the texture. I have a weird thing with textures. So that is all the questions I have. Um, those were all the questions I got on the giveaway. If you haven't looked, um, you can go see what I gave away and hopefully I'll be doing another one in the future. Um, let me know if you guys have any suggestions of what I should give away. And yeah, so that's all. Thanks for watching.